Today's show is brought to you by One Football App. Hi there and welcome to another episode here on Bustanet. These are the Kingstonian Diaries brought to you by One Football Lab. And I'd like to invite you to a chapter in our little journey, which I like to call the reality check. So far, we've done okay, right? Uh, that's probably because we haven't really faced tough teams. We've gone, we've gone through a bit of a slump. Uh, Toki, Toki, Tranmere Rovers, Grimsby. I mean, all matches I had to come back. Or in Grimsby's case, they scored a 90th minute equaliser and we, we couldn't win that match. Uh, then, uh, we managed to come from behind against fl- a filed, I think, f- filed, uh, Macclesfield as well. We had to come from behind and we had a miserable 1 0 win over Hornchurch, which we should have like scored more goals against them, but we didn't. And against Telford, a defeat. This match, we were simply abysmal. Yeah, we, we played poorly. Uh, I think four shots in total in the whole game. I did my usual you know, switch tactics and everything else. Nothing seemed to work. So I guess um, the shoe had to fall off. Right, now I expect... I'm, <laughs> I'm ex- I totally expect to go barefoot because we have matches against Wrexham favourites. Whitehawk, who are actually... We are favourites, but I do expect Whitehawk to perform really well because uh, they finished in playoff positions last season and uh, they are definitely not playing well. Um, they should bounce back. Then we've got Sutton favourites, Gateshead favourites, Leighton Orient favourites, Barrow favourites, Aldershot favourites, Dagon Red favourites, Accrington as well favourites. These are all teams that are behind me. And every one of them looks like they've got their they've got their targets set, and there's only one team in their sights, and it's Kingstonian. So we got a big match now coming up against um, Wrexham. We're playing them at home. I just had a coffee, and I was thinking about how I was gonna play against them. Now the thing is, our scout reports have come in. And uh, Wrexham, Wrexham are not going to be <laughs> a team that is uh, going to be easy to play against. Uh, the scouting report showed that Wrexham are coming in uh, with a standard fluid system, right? Um, they they've been playing a four four two this season. I wonder where that scouting report went to. I just saw it a couple of moments ago, and I don't want to waste too much time hunting it down. It's somewhere here, <laughs> um, and. Um, Standard fluid 442. So that's what we expect them to come up with. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get our asses handed on a plate. And I have to. This tactic does okay, but it's my Hail Mary or everything. You know, when things go out of the. When basically everything has gone ape shit, I turn to this tactic. But we're going to make changes and I'm going to play it slightly differently. This time around, we are going to do something I haven't have been thinking about. I was thinking about doing this earlier. Uh, and we are actually going to play this tactic slightly differently. All right. So this is how I'm going to set the tactic up. Against Wrexham. And I'm hoping this works. 
I want to turn him into a Trequatista, but I think I'm going a bit too far with expecting certain things from my players. Let's just stop at DLF on support. Eh, my mind is thinking of all kinds of wonderful things that my players are, can do, but they can't now in reality. Edit the play instructions. We're asking to sit narrower. And uh, this is what he will do. He'll sit narrower and hopefully he gets into this space right about here. Okay. And in my head, this is... Uh, interesting question is going the question uh i have to ask myself is am i insane i probably am uh we are hoping that this can work work ball into box push i prevent short goalkeeper distribution constantino goldberg Derry will be in this position uh the other option well rugari musendo is back from his long spell it uh he was injured for a while and uh i haven't had the luxury of being able to feel him so he okay uh rugero musendo can he play as a yes he can play in this position and rob howard will come in this position because rugero musendo is generally the guy i stick in the middle and uh so we got dlp on support we got ball winning midfielder on support uh ooh, ash maddox can be the ball winning midfielder um even though it says Brett, this guy is a better ball with him. If his determination is 8, Ash Maddox's determination is 6. Okay. Sorry. Based on determination alone, I'm putting, I'm asking our friend Emson to play in this position. Now, I do think I'm being a bit insane, but never mind. Such is life. This is the chapter I like to call the reality check. I expect our run to come to an end. I mean, I'll stay at the top of the table to come to an end. Rather, we are we our undefeated run did come to an end against Telford, um, and we were struggling. To be honest, we were struggling in our a lot of our matches. Uh, we just we just couldn't get it together, and uh, and I'm pretty certain that right now uh, we're gonna face the same problem. So we'll slow things down and kick off, and let's watch. Kingstonians fall apart as their manager does something he shouldn't be doing. Odofin to Emson to Howard. Howard plays it to Goldberg. Goldberg plays it back to Derry. Derry looks around. He got, he has Gogonas there. Gogonas finds Derry. Derry tries to get away. Um, this is interesting. If Gogonas can get free, which is... The, I mean, there's a part in my head that says turn uh, Gogonas into a wingback on support and Smith and leave him be as a wingback on defense. But we'll watch and see how this unfolds. Okay, Andre with the free kick to Farouz shoots. Uh, Besson makes a save. Okay, we're gonna tweak it slightly. I he is actually much better at support, and this guy will turn him into a defensive fullback for now. Corner taken. What was that glitch on the screen? What a name! Odofin clears the danger. Okay, there's another... Uh, okay. One of the reasons why I think we, we're seeing a lot of that is because my left flank has become extremely defensive. Constantino holds the ball out. As a poacher, he won't do anything uh, extraordinary. So, this is one of the reasons why one of my favorite roles in the game, especially in a duel or two-man attack or even a three-man attack, is actually the poacher right now. Smeaton, oh, does well. Emson to Goldberg. Goldberg to Constantino. Yes! Kingstonian one Wrexham nil. <laughs> asymmetric tactic. Who would have thought I'd, I'd come and start playing asymmetrically? I don't think anyone. I haven't played an asymmetric tactic. I mean, I do once in a while, but I rarely play asymmetric systems. But this is hardly asymmetric. All right. So, I mean, it just it has one player out of position only because I want to keep possession on the right flank. So I draw them down um, the left flank and hopefully uh, we we have enough players to keep hold of the ball on the right flank. Come on, that's the whole plan here, Smith. Get back, boys. No, don't do this to me. Furrows to Feeny Feeny shoots is over the top. Oh my goodness, Kingstonian are leading against Wrexham. This is unbelievable. They beat us 1-0 and I really didn't... F I mean, we did play okay against them. Derry with the ball, holds it up, finds Constantino, plays it back to Derry. Derry now to Emson. Emson out to Goldberg. Goldberg to Howard. Howard to Constantino. He is challenged. And that's a great challenge from Perry. Smith inside. Musendo picks up the pieces. 
finds Howard again. Howard, the playmaker, gets it to Derry. Derry plays it back to Emerson. Yes, we're going to keep the ball. This is a different style of play now. We want to hold, keep the ball away from Wrexham. We learn our mistake in the first game. Besson, oh no, what a ball to Goldberg. Had my heart. I mean, that was a heart-stopping moment for us, but still, we've lost the ball. Feroz is away. Feroz looks up. He's got somebody in the box to aim for, and Wrexham have equalised. All right. Okay, you are too defensive. Get your ass up. Get up there and start playing some football. Okay, Wrexham 1, Kingstonian 1. There's no need to watch highlights. We do think that our season will come to an end. I mean, I, I do I do think that we're going to lose. We're going to go on a bad losing run now. Emerson to Goldberg. Because these teams are just too strong. Derry holds the ball up. Tries to find uh, our friend uh, Constantino. Derry now. Looks around. Gogonas back to Howard. Derry. Now, uh, Gogonas makes a run. But they, Howard plays it to Gogonas. It's good ball retention. But we can't find the wing back. <laughs> this is I mean we're trying so hard to play like some the uh, some you know top tier team. You can see they barely can find the player with the pass. Uh clear by Perry on to Conton. Emson does brilliantly. This is a chance for a counter, but Constantino Musendo comes back. Howard to Emson, Emson to Goldberg. Goldberg finds Derry. Derry now to Constantino. Constantino inside the box. Okay. We see the possibility of doing something different. And I'll make the change. Hopefully they don't score. Alright. Alright, Gogonas. You're now going to become a wingback on attack. And you are going to be a fullback on support. Smeaton is confused. He's going there. Huh? What? Say what? <laughs> Yes, I'm a manager who does not know what he's doing. He's just looking and making very minute changes, but Cochrane makes it two for Wrexham. Kingstonian or a goal down. So much for our early lead. Yes, I'm, I mean, this is total experiment. I mean, I'm, I kind of figured that we might lose Wrexham, but maybe I should turn this guy into an attack duty earlier. Um... Now we shall try pass into space uh, and uh, use the offside trap, go a bit wider. Okay, I'm hoping that they can find Gogonas right now. Gogonas is... Alright, that's it. Gogonas, you're not playing well. I'm going to take you off and put on Gerdelson. Alright, free kick Smeaton. You know how to find the back of the net. Nope, he knows how to find the top stand, stands at the top in the stadium. Okay, no, we don't have that big a stadium anyway. Okay, oh my goodness, Andre gets away, says, thank you, Feroz, makes it 3-1. <laughs> we are being humiliated by Wrexham. I don't watch the highlight, <laughs> just losing now. Oh God, Jake Smeaton is a 6.0. I think all the confusion has caused him to... Oh man, I am trying. It's not I'm like doing... <sighs> I am trying. This that it made sense to me in my head, but unfortunately for us, I don't think my players can play that kind of a game where we keep the ball and we try and work opportunities because they don't have the first touch, the composure to do that kind of a game. Uh, we we more like the kind of team that you know if you attack us, we can score from the spaces that you leave behind. So that doesn't seem to work. So we're gonna go back to. The way we used to play. DLF on support. We got a wing back on attack. We got. Alright, we'll leave him as a wing back on support. Now that we are trying to get goals. But this is depressed. Oh no, no. There's four. Oh dear lord. 4 1 now. Wrexham are destroying me at home. Yes, let's just do with the changes. Johnson, my goodness, this could be the end of uh, our stay at the top. This could have devastating ramifications for our morale. The players may start believing that 
the day has come for us to fall down from the top of the table in spectacular style. Emerson with the corner, Johnson, Howard. Well, if teams can come back from 4-1 down and level the game at 4-3, why can't we? Okay, so let's go, boys. Overload. Structured. Few risky passes. Shorter passing. Uh, few risky passes. Shorter passing. Who else can do that? Uh, here we go. Few risky passes. You too can do that. Or uh, you will do. Fewer. You are doing a uh, mixed passing, but few risky passes. Okay, done. <sighs> okay. All right. This is where we try everything, and um, I think uh, it's Jake Smeaton is at 5.5. You might want to know why haven't I subbed him because we don't have another fullback. Yes, he's having a torrid game, 5.5. .5. The boys are just playing badly, and this is down to me, actually. I screwed things up big time. Um, thinking that we could make that work, and it didn't work, and instead... We stop playing a normal game where we allow teams to attack us and then we just hit them in the space and he happily run away. With we FM the game, but this time around, I tried to be smart, too smart and I guess, uh, yeah, we just got found out. Cochrane. Barry wins the ball. Looks for the... Oh, look at Constantino. Go Goal kick for Sun. Please don't add a fifth. It's all over. I guess uh, this is a bad, bad result for us. And I'm just going to... I'm just not happy with their performance. Actually, it's not their fault. It's largely mine. Okay, we received Whitehawk's scouting report. It's uh, standard structure. It's that one tactic that I've had. We've had problems with this whole season, the 4 4 2. It's very balanced. It's not a tactic we do well against. So Musendo will drop you in. Um, in fact, I'm gonna. Where's uh, Mash Maddox? Is not the world's best uh, ball winner. Uh, we've got Emson. Emson isn't half bad. Uh, then we got Howard. Howard is also not half, not half bad. So we'll leave these two where they are. Musendo, well, he's okay, I guess, right about here. Then we've got. Um, we're gonna push Constantino back to his rightful position. Up there, we're gonna use um, a defensive fullback here. Uh, we're gonna recall Gorgonas and um, that bad performance from Smeaton in the last game. We we don't really have a lot of options, but we're gonna bring on Dix and I'm gonna let him uh, stew for a while. Uh, 87, 89, 90, 91, 93. Yes, uh, ooh, this is not good. Well, I got Bayless, uh, passing vision decisions only five. Uh, Howard's uh, passing and decisions are a lot better, so I'll move him here. Maddox to move in as a carry railo. Okay, slightly different. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back to four one three two. I hope we're just gonna try and play the way we've been playing. I don't even know if it's gonna work. Masuka to Davis. Uh, our shouts at the we'll, we'll we'll go to extended highlights and then uh, our shots control structured, pushing higher up. Dix with the throw to Musendo plays it back to Howard. Howard loses uh, out, can't get the ball back. Beer comes away, and uh, Musendo tries to win the ball back. They get the ball down the flanks. Odofin, please don't do something silly. Who is this idiot? Goldberg. Beer back to Diaz. Now to Walker. Normally I'm looking for potential areas for me to exploit. But so far, last couple of games, I'm not even looking at how the opposition is playing. It's probably one of the reasons why I'm doing badly. Normally I'm looking out to see whether there's a flank I can exploit. Uh, whether they've got an attacking fullback on one flank. And uh, I haven't been really... I haven't really been paying attention, so that's that's a f kind of like affected the way we've played. But 
we're gonna have to step it up in this game. Corner, Musendo to take this. Or Dauphin rising up. Couldn't put it into the back of the net. Here we go. Another corner. Musendo takes it. And it gets up to Goldberg. Goldberg plays it short to Howard. Howard can't do much with it. Well, so far, we were looking all right. All right. I noticed um, that their left flank. So, so I should actually release uh, him. And I'll tell Dix to be a defensive fullback now. Uh, this guy will be a ball winning midfielder on support. We'll get him to be a Mazala on support. Okay, so. Team Talk. Assertively tell them I'm far from peace with what they're doing. Constantino to Howard. Um, this guy will be the DLF on support. And this guy will be the poacher. And we'll swap them around. Can't stand this. Okay. Alright, done. For Dauphin, hoofs it up. Uh, Davis now with the ball. Okay. Oh, it goes right over the top of the entire defense. This is terrible. <laughs> Damn it. That's how we play. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we play football <laughs> i've been screwed by the my own oh man the ai is certainly getting better okay this is not good this is a bad bad run for us ah uh, okay all bets are off we're gonna switch to this now i'm gonna have to try and come back somehow or another uh okay Tactics, Musendo, Maddox, Howard. Uh, bring Musendo back here. We'll have to bring on another striker. Constantino moves here. Derry comes here. Goldberg goes there. Okay. Besson plays it short to Odofin. Back to Besson. Plays it to Perry. Besson. Okay. Not too good. Raymond. Now he goes to Walker. This is terrible. Odofin doesn't it's cleared somehow all right keeper enough of this mickey mouse shit what are you doing okay howard to emson emson out it goes to Derry. now to goldberg goldberg finds emson to howard cleared back to perry now to howard howard you got girdleston there Girdle stone crosses it. Derry. Ooh, it <laughs> escapes. I don't believe my luck. Oh my goodness. This is not a good day for us. Um, 6.4 for Manny Perry. Yeah, but I don't have another defender. Okay, Emson maybe. All right, Emson is going to come off. Or Bayless. And uh, last, uh, that's not going to, I don't have enough time to make any more changes. This is just it won't happen. Goldberg. Yeah, it's our second defeat in a row. Barry, back to Musendo, now to Howard. Plays out to Gerdelson, to Derry. Derry out to Constantino, to Goldberg. Shoots from range. Ah, oh, boy. Whitehawk have not beaten Kingstonian as well. Constantino gets it to Derry. Derry, there's still time on the clock. Come on, Girdleston. Musendo back to Bayless. Finds Constantino. Constantino out to Dix. Dix slides it. Go, but it's an equalizer right at the death. Oh. oh, yes. We managed to get one back. I don't want two defeats in a row. Constantino, what a ball to Dix. Go, Buck. Squared it for Constantino. It finishes it off. We have avoided... I hope we have avoided defeat. Because we played... We played okay. But... We were just unlucky, I guess. Yeah, we did okay. Dressing room. We should have won the match. But never mind. So, that's it. You know, we are definitely in a... In a run of form that is not very good. 
Uh, yeah, we haven't won since our FA Trophy win over Hornchurch. So now we've lost to Telford, we've lost to Wrexham, we've drawn against Whitehawk at home, and now we face certain doom. Sutton, Gateshead, Leighton Orient, Barrow, Eldershot, Dagon Raid. These are all teams that are supposed... They all have us. They're all going, it's now time to teach Kingstonian a lesson. Will, cons- will I be able to survive this period? I don't know. It's definitely getting tough. So, um, if you have any questions, please look me on my Twitter at Bustinet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I like to thank all my patrons for the continued support of this channel. I hope you found this show useful. I'm not winning. I mean, we just got hammered, but I'm hoping that uh, we bounce back because you gotta, you, you, I mean, we tried to change things around and it just, you know, it just came back to bite me on the ass. We should have just stuck to how we normally play, which is hit teams on the break, you know, hit teams on the break, you know, soak it and just hit them on the break with what you have, you know, sometimes. But we decided to, we were too, we we're getting too smart. We got ahead of ourselves. We decided to huh, play a game that we're not suited for. Well, we'll see if we can come back from this. You guys take care. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.